We, uh, hey Greg, what are we doing today? Right now we're just reflecting some of this natural sunlight back into our subject. What's your name? Brooke, right into Brooke. This past week I was at Sony Kando and although it was a Sony trip, you know I had to get some film involved with the situation. So my friend Dane shot a roll of medium format film with his RZ67 and Dane has trusted me to develop his roll of film. So I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna send the photos to him and then we're gonna record his reaction on the photos that he got. So let's get into it. So this is the Mamiya RZ67. It is a six by seven medium format camera. So it takes a six by seven film negative on medium format film and Dane loves this thing. It is a powerhouse of a film camera. I mean, the image that you can get out of a medium format camera like this is pretty close to what you would get out of a digital camera even nowadays. Sometimes it even looks sharper. This is Brooke. She was the model for the day and she was really, really easy to work with. So Dane's idea was let me just shoot one roll of film and give it back to you see what you can do with it, develop it, scan it, send it back to me, and then I will go through the images. So here's Dane taking a few photos. Greg is in the background right there using a massive bounce light to kind of give the model a little bit more light on her face. We are using a golden bounce light, which is something that I've never actually done before. It gives a really nice golden glow as opposed to just like a normal white or boring light. So try to get that involved in the photo shoot as well. That gold light is so bright that Brooke had to like close her eyes and Dana had to give her a countdown in order to be like three, two, one. All right, take the photo. And you can hear that shutter on the Momia's RZ67. It's almost like a macro. Could a Pentax, you can't do that. So you can get like really... Basically what Dana's saying there is that you can get super close and the focus distance on these cameras is it's kind of what they're known for, honestly. You can have a really, really, really close focal length, almost like a macro lens, but not a macro lens. So that's something special that you only really get with these old school film cameras. But look at Dane right here. He looks gorgeous. Maybe Dane should be the model. So yeah, again, just taking photos, doing the thing. I'm gonna let you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy this photo shoot. <laughs> Gnarly. Look at the shadows yeah, on our face. It's a bit. It's a bit. This is basically a, what you think happens at a photo shoot versus what actually happens at a photo shoot situations. <laughs> But it was really cool to see Dane work with the model, see what his ideas were, how he interacted with models, um, went back and forth. Because to be honest, I'm not usually in a studio session or in a portraiture session. I'm usually on the go, run and gun, landscape photography, concert photography, things like that. So if you guys want to see the photos, be sure to stick around to the end of the video to see them. How do you feel? Hot? <laughs> how do I look? You look great. <laughs> Again, this is just Dane giving direction to the model. I think that's really important when you're working with a model to kind of at least give them idea of what you're looking for and then collaborate with them to make some really cool stuff. Ooh. I got two more shots. One, two, three, open. What do you think? What did you say? Should I do a close up or a wide one? Do a wide. You've, you know, a few close ups. Shout out Brooke for being such an incredible model and dealing with so many different photographers over the week at Kando. Go follow her on Instagram. I'll link her page down below. And let's go over to the developing room and get this roll of film developed. I had to get it hand checked on the scanner back home, get all the way back home and develop it in my homemade bathroom dark room as most film photographers nowadays do. <laughs> The roll of film has been developed. The photos are done. I'm now going to go ahead and scan them into the computer. Judging based on the negative, they look pretty good. All images came out, which is a good sign. And they all seem pretty evenly developed, which is also a good sign. Into the computer you go. All right, let's go over to Dane and see what he has to say about the film scans. Hopefully he likes them. So I, in Kando, shot a roll of film, and my homie Jake took the film, developed it, and scanned them and sent it to me. 
and I'm doing a first reaction to those photos, those 10 photos. Hopefully they all came out. And I'm assuming Jake will put them up to the screen. Jake's gonna put them right here. Yeah. So yeah, here we go. First image, wow. Nice colors, Jake. Like what you did here. Um, this entire row is Portrait 400, so I, I did try to overexpose them. So I had Jake push them one stop. Second image. I could tell my metering was way better on this image. Third, wow, the beautiful model Brooke. She was so good. All the photos so far, I'm on the, on the fourth image. They're all tack sharp, well lit. No issues with the scans, the colors are beautiful. All these gorgeous portrait colors, they scanned excellent. They were, they're all beautiful. Most labs don't scan my film right, but Jake did an excellent, excellent, excellent job. I don't really trust much people with the film process just because how painful it is. You often get either wrong colors or they, they don't process it right. So even when you have to scan, you get your film back with scratches and issues. I haven't seen the film, but from these film scans, they all look beautiful. And the turnaround was pretty fast as well. So Jake, you might have a new job. You can do all my film for me from here on out. <laughs> they all look great. I can't wait to share these. They're excellent, bro. Thank you. 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. It's really cool to collaborate with an artist that I really look up to and a personal really good friend of mine. Uh, Dane, his work is incredible. Go check out his website. His socials are linked down below. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.